Hello Terminators, Terminator here today with a Roblox video. I sat in Trade Hangout for a few hours and I was uh, able to get a few trades inbound and I didn't even look at the trades, I didn't touch the trades. Um, so yeah, I have no clue what I got inbound, um, so I'm really excited to make a video about it. I got 27 messages, but sadly about half are bots. Um, I wanted to point out this new Roblox Plus Extreme. Uh, he says it's made by Web. Uh, you know this. This is just a scam. Don't ever. If you get a message about some sort of Roblox extension or anything like that, those are just going to steal your cookies or uh, going to download keylogs to your account, and all that will do is have your account stolen and they'll steal if I did it they'd steal my thousand robux and about 85k wrap or whatever I currently have and then these are all just bots that spam me saying to trade and notice how this one has 1.7 mil values because he uses bots to message people um this guy actively trades you know so that's another way that people profit they just say oh I saw you at trading a few minutes ago no, you did not see me at trading out, my good sir. You just kind of started using me a, uh, using your private message bot on me. And you can tell, especially when they send you multiple messages. Let's see if they sent more. Okay, that Lewis Lynn has one. He has a decent amount of money, uh, decent amount of money again. You know, it's because they message bot. Craft alone, this is why you get terminated, you dumb idiot. Anyway, I respect you, craft alone, but now I don't wonder why you get terminated. It's because you do stupid stuff like this. It's botting, it's against the rules. That's why you lost millions, dude. Congrats. Anyway, I'll, I'll forever have to craft alone because you got terminated. So, yeah, you see that people sent trades and they sent. A lot of bots after me like four or five whatever um this is why I usually have my privacy settings up make it so no one can message me unless you follow me but uh a lot of you didn't know you had to follow me to message me and I didn't put that in my blurb because I didn't want it in my blurb so I just made it open for everyone and I'll deal with the spam for now okay so uh another thing I'm back at 316 today because I was at a dentist appointment for like the past three hours uh, this morning from when I woke up to and got home uh, I had two molars on my top set ripped out because um, the one was backwards and crammed in wrong so they were trying to make it so it'd turn around and move in you know uh, my orthodontist tried that, well it didn't work out, so they decided just to remove them. Uh, remove it and remove one, the one across to make it kind of match. So now, in about a month, uh, I get to have my teeth spaced back in properly. So that's extremely exciting and yeah, I'm getting these braces off soon hopefully. That's kind of why I said it's exciting even though it's a giant pain in the butt. Anyway, let's get into today's video. Um, I have Roblox Plus that tells me if they think trades are good or bad just by the rap. Um, we're going to do all the bad ones first and then the good ones. You know, the ones in red. Okay, so this first one, if you like rares, this is not a terrible offer. Ruby uh, Star Swim of the Federation, it's basically a necklace to match Countess of the Federation and these don't have any demand just to be honest uh, owners of Countess of the Federation I don't even see them owning it and it's so cheap for them to get um, the only other one that I, I know of of one of these is um, I think Duchess of the Federation might just have one of these and um, Lady of the Federation has one. 
And that's because it's a Roblox toy gift. So, um, expect a ton of recolors of these to come out in the future. Uh, limited or not, probably limited. Uh, I believe this one was botted when it was bought out. Uh, so yeah. Um, this is basically trash with more trash. Uh, I could maybe get more out of this, but this is odor demand and it's a top hat, so I'm going to have to decline that. I usually counter trades, but I'm just not in that kind of mood today to do this. Okay, so again, we're stuck with another trashy rare glitch and top hat. I mean, this could get a whole like 30k, um, you know, if I really wanted to try. It only has 97 sold. It, it, I kind of like it, to be honest. Uh, if I still had my Wenwood antlers, it'd be kind of cool. It's got many are deleted. Oh boy. Fine. Wow. 26 of these are deleted. So that means... 97 minus... What was it again? Deleted 26. Trade declined. Yeah, I know I declined that trade. Owners. 26. I had to make sure. I don't want to give the wrong answer. So that means 70, only 71 of these exist. So that's kind of cool. Um, it's a rare though. And it doesn't ever sell because no one really wants it at all. Um, the wrap would probably be about the same, maybe 16, 17k instead of 15 if it didn't sell for 1.4k at one point. Um, I actually kind of tempted at the offer, even though it'd be a huge loss for me. It's just because I kind of like that hat. So I'm actually going to counter because I don't want to give more than what it's worth. Which is exactly what I'll have to probably do. Uh, let's do legitimate fedora and neon. Getting beautiful hair. I'll add, I'll add this two smalls. This, if he accepts this, this is a huge one on his part. I'm willing to do it because I like the hat. Um, I probably could turn some profit because of the wrap up he. Um, this one, he's not quite giving me enough, but I can try to deal with that and say I'm a fair deal, because this face gets a lot of trades for me, usually. Um, if he prefers a hat, I guess he might accept that. Okay. Items you'll give, items you'll receive, it's only 11 wrap apart, and as I was saying, this gets a lot more trades. I gave fruit cake topper for this and it's a gear so people don't really want it as much trade out that. so i'm more like i'm going to actually accept this because this has a better demand i'm pretty sure and it's about what i the whole 11 rep i'd be losing uh i i won that about that much off the fruit topper versus candy cane bow so like I win my money back and I get a better item, so I will accept this. Um This isn't a terrible trade. I mean it's not absolutely terrible, but um I OP'd for CF because well I'll get this in a second. Um This isn't a terrible trade, but I'm just not interested in downgrading my CF, so my good stern I'm going to have to decline. Uh, well, this is finally racing, and these, I mean, trade declined. Rejected, of course. This is trash that no one really wants. People can still wear this. I want to uh, have to decline. Basically, with items this size, so I tend to wrap trade. But since this is a fedora, I'm not gonna quite wrap trade it because I usually get higher OPs on it. Um, buckets odor demand. This is trash. This is just more trash. Um, 10k wrap though isn't that bad, but 
And I think I'm kind of weak for this item because, uh, I think I wanted it for an outfit that I have, like, saved to my computer. Um, it's a fedora, but it's just tra too trashy to actually make a deal with. I mean, it doesn't even sound for near its wrap. It was projected at one point. That's for what it was. Uh. Trade declined. So yeah, I'm not interested in accepting this trade. Because it's just a huge loss, even though the route might not say otherwise, it's just a loss. So let's not do that one. Um, this one's a win. And um, I'm really sad that I didn't check my trades now because I would have accepted this in a second. Because these two items were worth as much as Neon Green Top Hat. So this is literally pure profit. This lost rainbow hair. Um, I know she don't have it though. I'm gonna accept it, and that'll be rejected. Once it tells me it's rejected, see rejected due to error. So I can tell you she got a discount on it. Probably okay. So she has legit an egg crate. So she might not have had trade decline over actually. Uh, when she sent the trade, I, I wanted to see what she had, and she had, she had this, so, like, I think she didn't have to send out as much to get the top hat, so she got it for cheaper than what I would have accepted for. Again, this is racing, that these are, this is trash, but this isn't, I'm just going to decline that one. Um, legitimate fedora. Has been doing terrible recently, but it's finally raising again. Um, this is usually 1.1k to 1.5k wrap, and whenever it hits this high, at its, it called its peak to make an Illuminati triangle. Once it's at its peak, it tends to go and go back to where it was. This just steadily raises because people hoard it and take them out of circulation, and it makes it so there's less trade decline. Um, there's less in the economy, and when there's less in the economy, it tends to go for more, you know, like 150,000 of them sold. Um, so the one, the ones, people that get BC and trade them off, uh, those ones usually would go to, like, get canceled out by hordes. This item always raises. Um, It'd be a good item to hoard unless someone with a big hoard would release them soon. This is just stupid. It's has it gets some sort of demand because people think it's funny, but it's just an ugly hat that had had like four hundred eighty wrap not too long ago, and this just came out. It's just kind of getting stable. It's just one point seven k wrap, so it's failing. Um, so I'm going to decline, even though this isn't a terrible offer. I'm. Well, let's, let's, let's count it, okay? Because if we can give them to give more, then we can maybe work something out. All right, chaps, right. I see that he has this face. That's uh, so like not enough. Okay, yeah, he can't add anything, so we're just going to decline. And then... Bucket versus Rudolph. Well, first off, the wrap's not as high. It's not. If it was Christmas time, I'd definitely ex probably accept this, even though this item would raise. Um, I could probably get more for this since it's a rare seasonal face. And yeah, um, it's months away from Christmas, so I won't get anything out of it. Um, it's kind of meh. You know, it's not really worth anything at this time. It maybe gets 5k wrap inbound on it. Not talk about value, but just wrap. Um, it actually sells a lot more than I would expect it to. Maybe people think it's cute, but I'm not interested. This thing sells a lot more. It has a lot more demand, and it's selling for a lot more. See, look how often it sells. 10. 6, 17, 44, so yeah, this sells a lot more, so I'm going to keep it. And when p parents buy Roblox cards and kids 
get on there, you tend to redeem and buy stuff like Bucket and Legend at Fedora, so we're going to decline that. And we're going to, going to quickly look at some trades I did, because uh, I wanted to explain something. This trade. Valkyrie Helm might be your dream hat. Classic Fedora might be your dream hat. But this was 56k wrap, just like this was. And I woke up the next day. I could have got these 1v1. I had this inbound. Could have easily got them one versus one and that would have been a, probably a win but i was like and eh, i think falc is going to conquer the classic fedora so i was greedy and i decided hey i'm just gonna wait for falc to be worth more than classic fedora and then i can get them to add moo <laughs> so i had this trade inbound still because i was like you know just in case i changed my mind or whatever well then I wake up and Valkyrie Helm is 2.52.7k wrap. Oh man, I was mad. So I started, I, I had my fit, like, oh my god, seriously? I thought there was some hope, and I didn't take good offers that I probably could have gotten. So I accepted this and took that L, because these are worth about the same. So this was a complete loss, but, um,. Yeah, I was just kind of irritated at Falkyrie Helm. So, I took the loss. And I don't entirely regret it. And look how many sales I have. 181,000 sales. It's like, jeez. Not making a lot of money, though. <laughs> 1.3k are up. And that's like from 20k players a week. Anyway. Uh, thank you guys very much for tuning into my Roblox video today. Um... I hope to make a lot more trading videos soon. I'm probably going to make an L Matter edition and ask people from Let's Make a Deal forums to send me trades instead of people are trading out. And yeah, I think I'll get a lot more harder to deal with trades from experienced people. So that makes for some possibly, you know, interesting trades to complete. So. Thank you all very much for watching. Hopefully in the next videos I can have just about just about the same amount of trades, uh, declined, accepted, countered, whatever. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys very much and I appreciate you tuning in. Make sure to leave a like if the video is good and comment down below if you want more of these type of videos or if you want me to cover anything like uh, what demand is and what value is or something like that, you know, so I like talking to my fans and uh, n Possibly new subscribers and stuff like that. I like talking to you all That get a gist of what you want to watch or what you want me to make videos about so thank you very much I appreciate it and goodbye